hello guys welcome back to the channel and in today's episode we are considering two afcon stars that would not feature in the afcon now let me start off with the first story here the fiorentina star imbala in zola has rejected the angolian national team caller so this player plays for fiorentina in the italian Serie A. and why is he rejecting a caller his reason here is that he wants to focus more on club football he wants to concentrate on his career in Italy and this is the second time that he has refused an invite to the Angolan national team and he's also citing that poor logistical arrangements are also part of the reasons why he's not showing up in Cote d'Ivoire. Mind you, this is a player that helped with the qualifiers for the tournament. He helped Angola qualify to Cote d'Ivoire and so my question is if you wanted to focus so much on club football why then did you even feature in the qualifiers in the first place. The danger for this football player is that the team becomes so good and they basically will not need him anymore. That is what I'm most worried about when it comes to these things. I mean, we've seen it before. Okay, so there's this example of Croatia's Nikola Kalinic. During the 2018 World Cup, he refused to play, he refused to be stabbed on as a substitute. And every time it was time to stop on, he said he had pains in his lower back. So, the coach decided to send him packing and we all know how far Croatia went in the World Cup in 2018. They did go to the final. So that's the danger here. You become absent consistently from the team. The team gets so much better without you. And then you are left stranded, you know. As a footballer, playing for your national team is one of the greatest honors. And so, um, Mbala, Inzola, um, uh, if you watch this, maybe you should reconsider your decision. All right. Now, the second story here has got to do with Molaye Silla. Now, imagine you've worked so hard and um, you've played very good football all year round, but your coach decides not to take you to the tournament. And it's not because you're injured, but because of something I would find rather silly. Now, the issue with Silla is that um, he's been dropped from the Guinea squad because of a t-shirt. Apparently, earlier in this year, 2023, Guinea did play with Brazil and Brazil demolished them by four goals to one. So after the match, he exchanged shirts with Vinicius Jr. And when they got to the, the, the locker room, he couldn't find that Vinicius Jr. shirt. He searched for people's bags and luggages. Can you imagine? He went ahead to search for other teammates' bags and luggages for his shirt. According to Post Nigeria, he went as far as accusing their head coach, Kaba Diawara, for the missing Vinicius Jr. t shirt. That is how far he went. And apparently, okay, story did break out that he found the shirt inside his luggage. So you can imagine the embarrassment, having to accuse other people for, you know, a missing item that you later found in your stuff. And the coach didn't respond all this while well until now. And he responded by dropping him off the squad. That is very um, disturbing, very unfortunate that things have come this way. Now, in his response to Africa Guinea, that is a media company in Guinea, what he said was um, i'm not ready for an interview but what's certain is that it is not everything that happens on facebook that is true i can never retire in the national team especially since i am young that is all i can tell you that was his response his response was oh, i'm not giving you much information all i can tell you is not everything you're hearing is correct and so take it as it is now so whose story should we believe now it seems that the player the player is saying not everything you see on, on the internet is true okay granted and that's true by the way but what is the actual version unfortunately you're also not ready to respond to it and so that beggars belief that what is out there might actually be the truth because if he wasn't you should have come up with a counter argument or a counter narrative that is the unfortunate fate of Silla. um if i'm in this position i probably would have to issue an apology and get back onto the team you know he plays his football for aruca in portugal the first like the premier division in portugal but i 
go ahead and apologize apologize publicly of course because this issue has come on publicly apologize publicly and get back onto the team so that you can also progress with your career you know a lot of scouts a lot of big big clubs have their agents and their scouts watching tournaments like like Afcon. so you don't want to miss out especially because of issues like like these so there you have it guys let me know what you think in the comment section below if you're liking this new style that i'm coming up where i get a show instead of just having some kind of a, a, a video edit throughout i'm having some kind of emoji if you like that let me know in the comments if you don't like that too let me also know in the comments all right i'll see you in the next one